extends upwards or like thrusts upwards or whatever you want to call it. Uh -huh. And Y run doesn't really work out. Alright, let's get back to the draft. <laughs> but oh, there's nothing here. <laughs> we gotta, that, there we go. OD yeah, band. OD band out by secret. Uh, th yeah, so they're, again, they need to, it's clear Chaos need to pick a mid hero that can lane against Viper, and what Secret could be worried about in that sense would be Broodmother, but since they have Alchemist, if Chaos pick Brood, they will just put the great time for farming, and yeah. then problem solved. Spark so Band as well with the uh, Yapsaw Invoker, Bristle back with no mana. Yeah, I, it's, it's, Mars. it seems way too easy for this uh, this early cold snapping, cross waxing, so, like four position invoker, just to get away with even being picked. Yeah, it would have been a great pick. This game. EMP is awesome against these strength heroes that are really spell reliant, and it's also not half bad against a hero like Willow, who can still get caught. Oh, there's the Lestro. So that's probably right. a is Zy it a yap so tiny. Yeah, I think the absolute and tiny inside. Very possibly at least. <laughs> unless the, unless Team Secret are doing something a little funky, but uh, it's also that big strength of Team Secret, right? Like you have Yapsor and Zai who are able to have these very interchangeable roles in the three position. And one of the most picked heroes of the tournament, Matumbaman's Gyrocopter, and it will be Misery Skyrath. You are correct. Skyrath looks cool. What is that stick? It's like a half broken. I mean, that depends on your perspective. It doesn't... By design, that it's, it's a half it's, it's intentional? D d does this feel broken to you? I don't think it feels... It, 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 it feels like it's being cracked like a cookie. I, I get what you're... I, I, I totally understand. I just feel like it looks like... That's not what things look like break. It's really polished. Maybe it was originally a half sun, and then he just had it... Come on, Sharpened, yeah. It was, it's, it's like uh, it's it's an old antique. He's like, I'm gonna bring this back. <laughs> this is this was a this was an old relic of the eerie. And then on the other side of the side of the board, we have Chen with literally a creature that came out of the suit. It, it look it looks like uh, something from Starcraft. Like yeah, a, like the little like a does. little Zerg style face. It's around. really it really is a Zerg coloring that it. With the, with the horns that come back, looks like the hydralisks, uh, yeah. with, the, with the way their heads go. And little known fact, they do actually originate from the sewers. Really? Say something to I, a, a hydralisk comes from the sewers? No, it doesn't. I'm about to say, that, that wouldn't make any sense at all. I remember my StarCraft lore, and like, that's not... Then why are you questioning uh, yourself when I make a bad joke? Because I'm always questioning myself when you try and give me a fact. <laughs> Tiny's face just looks too cute in rock. <laughs> I like this set. I like this set. Hi. Okay, so... In, in, into the game we go. To quickly reiterate, if you've just joined the stream to watch this game, uh, as far as standings goes, this game has no impact. Secret are guaranteed second place, and Chaos are guaranteed ninth. So, Secret have two ways of doing this. They can use it for practicing new strategies or for building confidence in something they've already shown and getting that little bit of extra experience under their belts with comfort strat. And this so far is nothing out of the ordinary. So I think they're kind of holding their cards close to their close to themselves here and not showing too much extra. Which could have still been an interesting choice to, you know, try a crazy idea that you don't really feel like you're gonna use. And then if it turns out, man, it's actually really good, maybe other teams are gonna be worried about it and start banning your heroes that you didn't even want to play. But they're not gonna do that. For no. example, they could have picked a, picked a techies this game. Yeah. Uh, try to get in the hands of the but opponent. It was, it was but it's maybe it's they don't want it banned. Yeah, may maybe uh, also they don't want to have to play against it, because if they play against it, they show how to counter the techies. That's uh, also possible. <laughs> At least Yapsor as well as Faded is saying. I mean, very, okay, okay, okay. That's, that's more than a high five, Yapsor. That's a punch to the face. Well, toss him around, but that means Yapsor already used his ability. Still about 10 seconds till the rune's going to spawn up. Four heroes from Chaos on the bottom lane. And they definitely want to see if they can get a pick off over on Yapsaw. Put down the Bramble and Tiny. Yapsaw tries to toss him away, walk through the trees, get himself out of this one. TP scrolls unavailable for a couple of seconds. And he's trying to juke it, but Matumba and Millen perfectly surrounded. Yapsaw will be the first blood. And Chaos are already switching their lanes up. Gyrocopter goes towards the mid, and Millen's heading up towards the top. It's not really switching, making it the way it was intended. Yeah. He spent so much time chasing for that kill that he has to TP mid and will not get a creep block, but 
Uh, mid one didn't bluff block either, so... Still ends up around the center of the lane. Curious to see how this lane goes. With Matsu having first blood, this might be Gyro favored. I wouldn't have said that on paper if the lane just started out evenly, uh, that Gyro was going to have a great time here, but... <clears throat> he looks fine. At least with the first blood, it's gonna look a lot easier. Yeah. It's, it's the issues to come later with the break. Like, that's that's the bigger problems. But man, look at this from Gyro. Just get up in, in the face of mid one. Doesn't want to come too far underneath the tower, but hits level two, so has the Rocket Barrage. Mid one that's hiding inside of his own Toxin. And he immediately skilled up the Corrosive Skin when he got level two for that extra tankiness. Didn't fly out a salve, though. So he is a bit exposed. Well, okay, oh. Gyro doesn't have one either. Hate it. Maybe actually died on the bottom lane. He got tossed into tower. Well, he I died think. right here, like that's a little death spot right there. <laughs> so not even that that close, but uh, obviously with a combination of Zai and Yapso together, they keep going over towards Misery. And grabbing some troubles for milling up on the top lane too. Puppy harassing him out with a divine favor. This lane just has so much sustain. Right, mid one as well as Matumba living life on the edge, but Matumba's now going to salve up. I think Courier is bringing out, yeah, it's, the salve for mid one's now on the way. And Mill's having a really hard time standing in this lane. Probably took the wrong creep. Oh, mid one dead under tower. Jara comes to the He'll lose his life for this too. That salve really needed to come out a little sooner than it did. And still, Yapsaw, Avalanche, it's going to clip over on Millen. He knew exactly what was coming because Puppy's Creep right in front of Millen, blocking him up, so Yapsaw gets the toss-up. Millen still has a Fairy Fire available, but one more punch from Puppy's Creep will end up getting the kill. Wait, is this... does this Creep have any benefit over the other... Uh, no. Apart from the fact that it, it existed, I don't it think so. Have, it doesn't have better move speed. I mean, yes, it has the resistance aura, of course, which he's definitely not taking it for, so it must have been a mistake. Yep. I was wondering if it had higher move speed or Misha, trouble. Nice spear. Underneath the towel. Push back into the small patch of tree, just off to the east of it. Good spear from Kezu. And then they combine it with the brambles. This lane together is very strong at certain points. Uh, level three is for both heroes. They have a lot of burst damage. And this will secure at least the level 2 from Millen. And later in the game, there's the classic combination of Arena into the Terrorize. People keep running against the wall. Uh, that, was, that attack from um, from Zai with the Split Earth was a little bit off target, but he knew Yamso was going to stand behind him and protect. Everything can settle down for the moment. Matumba's having a really good mid lane. 17 10 against the 18 1. It's just the uh, the heavy amount of denies. Yep. His damage advantage in the start, especially because of first blood. So he can easily contest CS. Gonna get the mana burn creep. That's very annoying. <laughs> the way Puppy plays it, right? Yep. This is, this is a guy who takes mana burn creeps, takes harpies, and then just wins the lanes. 20 second cooldown that removes 100 mana, or 18 second cooldown rather. Uh, that's some easy efficiency. Standing on top of the room, Matumba, using all three bottle charges which just flew in, and then also gets the arcane rune. It makes for a, a really good lane for him. Mid one backed off just to farm inside the jungle, that's why there was no contest for it. Yapsaw, he's not going to do a toss back to Zai. That's definitely what he Dyer's keeps on threatening. Probably how they got that kill on bottom lane before. He can come close, but then Zai's gonna turn the two points edict on. Yep. The level two edict is a big difference maker. No. There's a lot of posturing for the five minute bounty runes. Puppy and Nisha going up against Kezu. Matumba has moved over with a homing missile. Puppy staying for the bounty rune. He'll end up losing his life for that. Still good though, he has Alchemist in him. So the money makes it worth it. A lot of extra gold for Nisha. <laughs> Nisha does have the only only one point up in Greville's Green. Obviously, need a little bit more lane presence with the two points asset spray. 
And his net worth is uh, not equal. In fact, it's a little bit behind that of Matumbaman for the moment. Shows how well that lane's going for Digital Chaos in mid. Digital Chaos. Digital Chaos. Sorry, the other Chaos. <laughs> oh, it kind of is the same Chaos, right? But then again, it isn't. Yeah, it really is. Looks the same, but not quite the same. Call down in mid. Yabsaw able to get the toss back. Matumba can play inside of his own call down, but underneath the towers is too much damage to survive. That's a really big. That's another kill. That's Skyraz die. That's smaller. Wait, he actually. He got him solo. He ran down misery at the shrine. <clears throat> Leshrek with boots is really fast. Skyroth is a fast hero as well, but doesn't have the boots yet. So, curse of playing position five. Sometimes you just have nothing. Misery went for the quick crown, and he wants another crown. He's not going to get boots early, which is pretty common for Skyroth mages to bypass boots for a bit because your move speed's so good. Then you can focus on amping up your spells instead, getting an Atos, getting no talismans, whatever you like. And he's going to take mid for now while. The gyro is making a top out of smoke. Yeah, hey, he'll be able to wrap around the, the side of Puppy. Nietzsche has already been forced away thanks to the Bramble Puppy cutting through the trees, but Matum with the Rocket Barrage and the homing missile. He'll kill Puppy underneath the tower. Even with the extra heals, it still won't be enough. And Nietzsche wants a battle underneath his own acid spray. TP support's coming in, but it's coming in very late from Zai. Nietzsche's already gone down. Matum with the double kill. Zai gets the lightning slow onto Kezu. The attacks from the tower is not going to be enough as Zai have to cut through the tree lines, but the Cursed Crown from Millen. Cancelling the split up. There's still three heroes from Chaos up on top. In fact, it's about to become four with Misery rotating in. Zai's too far forward. Puppy's three TP'd up here. But Chaos have the numbers. And Nisha's gone jungle. Which means Chaos can now take the C1 tower. And what's your trade off? Yabsaur on bottom lane having a battle with Faded. There's four Quill Spray stacks on him, and Yabsaw slowed down. I think Yabsaw knows he's dead. He needs to get a quick toss on the Faded, throw him back underneath oh, no, the Tier dead. 1 tower. So Faded, the damage oh, output from the tower. Now one charges will keep him alive. That was close, though. Man, if Yabsaw gets that solo, that would have been super huge. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Yeah, so far, so good for Chaos. Um, hey, you know that combination we're talking about? <laughs> it's, it's Harpy and uh Oh, nice. He has both of them. <laughs> yeah, Lovely. he does. Yeah. It's eight minutes in though, so the Harpy's already losing a lot of its power. It's still good though. Ah, the tower is under attack. Not that I'm concerned, Faded. <laughs> but he burns the clarity and then he triggers the soul ring. Loses the majority of his life, Puppy, up a little bit too far once again. Skewered up into the tree, thanks to the spear with the Bramble down too. Yapsaw trying to come in to help out his captain, and with that help, Puppy's creeps are able to ensure the kill on Misery, so there is a rebuttal. But there's still a one-for-one -one trade off up on top. Oh, bottom. And Zai's in trouble. Homing missile's gonna chase him. He does have TP available, and once the homing missile connects, there's nothing else to actually cancel the TP out apart from a heavy amount of damage. And that'll do it. Smarter play Gyro all tournament? Um, I think he's, he's kind of had one game on, on Gyro. He plays a good Gyro. I just don't remember seeing him play it this, uh, in, the, in the drafts that I saw, but maybe I just saw the wrong one. We haven't, we haven't got to watch a lot of Chaos. In fact, I think this is our first game of, it is our first game of Chaos that we get to see. Yeah. All the money. Nisha doesn't want that smoke. <laughs> Nisha wants that farm. He'll get it. He just having to share his experience. Zion Yapsaw now moving up to the top lane. Kezu is the man who's still up here. Radiant and they really are just the gang squad. Smoke is broke, so they knew... Okay, yeah, they see Kezu now. And that is one very, very dead Mars. Tossed up, brought down. <laughs> and Zeiss, but Earth is not even able to connect. Poppy's already got the kill. I made it easier for the corpse to fall through the ground because he split the earth for it. Oh, oh, return kill though. Yeah, Matumba and Misery moving into the jungle. Catching out the Viper who was trying to find the farm. They probably would have liked Nisha, but it was a good movement before the 10 minute rune. But now Millen working with Misery, trying to battle for it, but Yapsaw's taking the bounty rune once again. He'll lose his life. The Cursed Crown stunned him up, which just lets Misery stand there and deal and see, like, steal and deliver. Actually, no, it won't. You've got the Hand of God coming in. That's already level six, so Yapsaw playing out the tree line. 
Melon will still go down. Yapsor trying to play that fog of war. Nietzsche's coming up. The observer ward is giving them the information around the corner. That's why you can see him. Navy Wow with the arena of blood too. Zai caught down inside the river. Yapsor somehow still alive until the final orb is able to connect. But Secret successfully defend their jungle. And they keep farming up this alchemist who is not very far ahead relatively in this game compared to what you usually see on Alchemist, so it's still good news for Chaos in this game. But you got to try to keep up the pressure. Can you get some towers? Can you limit Alchemist's farming space? Because yes, your laning phase went well, but now comes the part where Alchemist starts farming up really rapidly. You can't find a way of contesting this guy. Your lineup kind of struggles with dealing with Alchemist later. You don't have that high single target physical burst. You have some AoE burst, I suppose, from Gyro and Skyrath and Mars, but singling out and killing an Alchemist with Chen Heal or behind him. Tough. Misery's dead again, bottom. Looks like Zai will join him. Nope. Down to 15 HP, but 15 is enough to survive. More than zero. It is. <laughs> and less than four. Uh, this one Observer Ward. I, I don't think Team Secret really realized it. They dropped the sentry, and then all they found was a sentry. Now Nisha, oh, Nisha. Melon just attacks through the rear as, uh, well, he pulls out of the Terrorize. TP comes over from mid one as Puppy wants his own fight, but there's also buying space for Faded to add pressure to the tier two tower on top lane. Mid one skewed away from Mars, so he can't finish the job, even with the Atos, Viper Strike, Control. Dyer's top tower. Hard to keep attacking when you just get pushed away. Bottom lane, Matalman. Zion Yapsol, once again, the combination goes to work. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Puppy is standing in a very strong position here. He has three creeps. He's standing next to the shrine and a viper. I think he's just working out, though. Sure he's, being, he's being watched, Radiance though. Like, with the way that Chaos is moving. Attack. Yeah, he's Radiance probably realizing that there is a ward, but the, the primary goal of what he's doing here is just to, you know, control the entrance of the jungle. Don't let the enemy... Radiance Chaos are gonna try to find a back entrance. They keep wrapping around the mid. Just Alchemist Illusions dragging the wave out, and uh, Nisha has just moved to the Trinity camp on bottom. Oh, Puppy. Arena of Blood will come up. Puppy's gonna stay in the middle, but he's already been pushed back out. There's your break from mid one, Puppy. He's got the mech already available. Zai's rotated in as well with the Terrorize. Puppy just has to walk away. Mid one's trying to do the body block. They've already killed off Mars, and underneath the break, it doesn't really feel like Fader can get that kill on Puppy, but he's gonna move back away. Misery throws down the ulti, but Zai just moves away from it. And with the extra help coming in from Yapsaw, there's two cores down from Chaos, the Rod of Atos back up again. With the call down, maybe Matama can just sway Team Seeker from killing off his support, but it's, it's not enough. Three heroes down from Chaos, Team Secret. Defending this jungle and just trying to create more and more space for Nisha, who was not there. Puppy has so much sustain. <clears throat> he had ulti and mech ready. And I think he had two... Did he have three levels in Divine Favor there? Not sure, but the healing amp. They put so much into him and they still didn't kill him. And even if they do, that's part of the strength of Chen in this kind of position on the map. I mean, yeah, you're going to kill him. He still has his creeps even when he, di when he dies. And his entire team just get a free fight afterwards. It's an 1100 HP hero with a lot of armor at this point because of the mech. Uh, not the easiest kill ever. It's crazy how he's able to get these items so, so fast up as well. I suppose the, uh, it's because Yapsor, who's uh, right underneath the tier one tower in mid lane, looking for his own fight with the avalanche toss. He almost kills off Matumba, but Kezu, he's gonna lock him in position inside the trees. Mid one gets a rebuttal onto Millen. I won't lie. And Chaos are definitely looking for fight after fight after fight. Meanwhile, Puppy has now got a four strong army. Double Satyrs, one Harpy, one Centaur. Yep. Saw a Centaur last fight being super useful. When uh, when you have a strong slow, such as the Viper Strike, it's very easy to land that stomp. It basically controlled the Bristleback for really long in the last fight between the two of them. Can even A toss into the Centaur stomp. I'm pretty sure Puppy would like to get more than one Cent. I think he wants the Harpy to get replaced by a Centaur or a Wolf, perhaps, but for now he's not grabbing that Wolf. They're heading down for the rune, but they will be late. Avalanche doesn't create no space. Faded's already got it, but that's why Yapsaw's waiting. Oops, that's not what he wanted. Go he back to your where you came from, son. Go back to Chen. 
Radiance top tower is under attack. Yeah, he did have that alpha to, to choose as well. Nisha. Attack. Problem when the uh, battle comes from Team Secret up on the north. Chaos realizes it's time to invade. It's all towards the mid. Viper Strike out with the Atos. Bristle back just being locked in position. Broken down by all of Team Secret. They've already taken the T1 tower in mid as well as top and bottom. So if Team Secret want a bigger objective, they have to just run straight down mid lane. Radiance is already up on Nisha. 15 minutes in and you've actually got an Alchemist not inside the jungle willing to push a tier 2 tower. Shows yeah. you the tempo of the game that Secret want to play. With Chen's mech and Hand of God, this coming team fight for Chaos seems really, really difficult. You have to try to find a way of... Yeah, I don't even know who you're supposed to go on. They're all kind of tanky and then with all of this healing in the extra region... It's not easy target selection. They will not go high ground for now, but Secret will probably just go and take the top tower. You can see Kezu's drawing the line he wants to try and defend, has his blink dagger up, and has to choose his target really wisely. Maybe a Mars, bur or a Mars burst onto Alchemist is possible. They could blink Arena, spear him onto the arena, then when the spear is about to end, they can Atos with Misery, and they just blow him up with all of their stuff. He should be killable for now. Oh, here's your Yule Scepter from Zai. Starting over on Faded, Misery wants to try and help out. And now we go into the Arena of Blood with the Terrorizer. All gonna be forced Team Secret to run into the walls. Not where they want to be, but the sustain from Chen is ridiculously good. Millen can't do anything inside the trees. Chaos have three players down. And Team Secret would like to chase for more. They'll push through the Tier 2 town for the moment. Kezu to try to force Zai back. That was probably the best ulti that Mars could have asked for with a combination with Dark Willow, but Team Secret, they just hand of God and mech up, you can't fight that. Did, were they able to combine all of the spells? It looked a bit like the Skyrath ulti hit a little bit, but yeah, Wait, we're gonna, we're gonna a see a replay here. So they open up on the Bristleback. There's the three-man Mars ulti. He spears him away, so out of the Skyrath ulti that's hitting nothing, and Gyro is not there. Gyro is behind the tier two tower. And this is what's missing. If Gyro's here for this combination, they get all these kills. But there's no call down. Now the call down comes down and it's just too late. And now back to live. Yeah, that's actually a really nice play. So mid one started over on the gyrocopter until Yaps. Oh, come on. Chaos are just getting themselves further ahead. Melon can't battle against Zai. The Edie's going to end up killing him off. Faded. Maybe he can get a little bit of a rebuttal as Zai running right in front of the tower here with Matubberman. We'll try and stick with the kills that Chaos is able to achieve as Zai will fall. But there's two big calls from Team Secret going down that's going to delay their next push. And the trade-off is the two supports from Chaos. A very willing trade, but Nisha is free farming in the meantime. Yep. Obviously, he's a huge danger zone. But what else can you do? You can kill him. Matumba? You can start with a homing missile. Misery actually got Rod of Atos up. Nisha? Okay, never mind. Just walks away from it with the avalanche. Concoction turnaround. Matumbaman feels he's in way too deep, and he is. Yamsaw gets the last swing with a tree. And Millen has to bramble. Yapsaw easily navigates it. The Curse Crown will still follow up with a stun. And Chaos is backing up. Chemical Rage is so good against Skyrath if you're not silenced. Being able to break the Atos and just run away from the combo there. And Millen will... He's trying to Shadow Realm himself away to safety. But the Concoction stun inside the Azza Spray. Millen, and he'll get up the hill, but he'll tick out to the Radiance Burn. While in mid, Chaos tried to go on to mid one. But Zai is here, and Misery trapped once again inside the trees. <laughs> At least Chaos are able to voice lie and spam some happy things. Hey, Fader may even be able to take out that top tier two tower if he can stick around long enough. He's a Bristleback that can pump out a hell of a lot of damage, but he's also a Bristleback living in fear of where Team Secret is. Now it looks like Secret are now going to go in for their Roshan. Lotus Orb as well as, as Atos over on mid one. Yep, they're just buying items that will keep Nisha safe, I think, and they're going to let him hit the high ground. They get the armor on Viper from the Lotus. He can put it on Nisha to counter out Brambles, counter out Skyrath Silence, and with an Aegis as well. I think Secret are pretty much about ready to try for a high ground attempt soon, but 
Fate is coming see over. If Chaos can do anything about it. Because the Absor as well as I went north, they're not perfectly in position. The Rod of Atos is over on Faded. But with a Terrorize up, Bramble comes down. Viper will get stunned up. Roshan's still looking his wounds. But Faded, he's got more of them. He's bleeding from all sides. And Misery tossed in by Yapsor right in the middle. And it may not matter if Kezuk is able to blink in and get this arena of blood. Yeah, it's just did. Chaos blood absolutely everywhere. And yeah, Kezu, he did actually snatch the Aegis. Dyer still killed Roshan. And it looks like Dyer will still kill the rest of Chaos as Kezu. He's the last player standing from Chaos, and they're all down without buybacks available. Oh, Over 20 minutes into this game, and Team Secret have a firm grasp on it. But Chaos, they're having fun, they're fighting until the end. Yeah, the it may not be that much fun, but they're still trying to. The spell combination again there just doesn't... The spells just aren't landing together. The combination isn't clean enough, and at this point, even if it is, it's not really enough anymore, because Secret have so much sustain. Oh, look at the pushback. Viper. Atos for Atos. <laughs> and, <laughs> and no one even attacked properly. Mid one. Oh, they're going to try and go for this. Team Secret's a little bit further back. Maybe they have enough. Skyrath only still not enough to bring down mid one. But Bristleback turns the back out. He needs to get out of the strike, but it's just everywhere. The Nether Toxin, he just can't walk away from it. Two heroes down into the back lines. Maybe some trouble for Zai as Matubberman and Kezu work on it, but no, there is no trouble. Puppy is there to hold his hand and get him out, and GG is called 21 minutes in. Team Secret, 33 kills with the death of Kezu at the end. Secures them game number one. It is a dead rubber that we're playing right now. Chaos and Secret, but uh, man, Secret still looking very, very good. Showing why Chen was one of the heroes that a lot of people were looking at to be a big hero. Yeah. Like his sustain just made it impossible for Chaos to do anything. Yeah, the laning stage went well overall. Uh, I think Chaos showed some decent kills early on with their 